do. Are you fucking kidding me? That... It's, it's some sort of insect. Keep your distance. It's tied up. Doesn't look like it can get loose. It's tied up? How big is it? That is probably the queen. It is happy. Yay, happy queen. Yeah, alright, so it is probably getting the things that we should be messing with, and then the box probably wouldn't be that alive either. Semi organic suction cups were custom designed to harvest this creature's extraction. Milk in suction cups. Yay. Large swollen milk sack. Moted abdomen. Swollen egg sack or plump milk crown. Possibly all three. Queen insect, we can go and pet it if we want. It's difficult to grasp the size and form of this insect creature. Other like protrudence sprout from its sculptor's abdomen while the prince is stuck there. Restrain harness. This series of struts holds the protein's creature in place. Uh, I mean, we probably die if we go and pet it too, so I would possibly like to try it. It's very happy though. I'm sort of happy to see it happy. But, uh, can't be too happy to be just a queen like this. At least from our standard point, but... Oh dear. Alright. Let's go pet it so we can die. I sort of want to see it anyways. Yay, we got eaten. Very happy. <laughs> what a surprise that we would be getting eaten like that. Or, well, we would die. I didn't think we would actually get eaten, but die anyways. Don't walk. I'm just gonna load back into there because it's probably quicker than me listening to the full talk. Alright, well, so that lovely little death scene. Probably might see it again later on because we have to try to do something and it's not necessarily that easy. Amber trickles from the tree, but most of it has hardened into an incredibly tough compound. Amber, hmm. The wines seem to be trying to pluck this terminal out of its wall socket. So far, they have not succeeded. That is good. Mail collection tanks and tree. A tall, strangely shaped tree grows out of the house and space in the floor. Milk from the creature is being fed into the tree by a pair of tubes. Milk from the tree. This creature, okay. Right. So, it is something that is the substance for the tree crows. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Hydroponics queen chamber. What a surprise that we are in a queen chamber. I didn't guess. Activate suction pumps. Huh. Monday. Healthy docile response to, to simulate milking as normal. Tuesday. No activity. Wednesday. Healthy height and accretion. Recommend milking with only experienced staff. Thursday, no activity. Friday, healthy, highly aggressive, three personal wounded in milking. Saturday, healthy, quiet, unusual, prudent behavior, milking normal. Sunday, healthy, aggressive, one way to buy venom punches. <sighs> the Queen's Life Cycle Week 93. Activate sun. <laughs> Okay, it's here. Milk collection bat. Stores the processed milk. Okay, we have some queen's milk. How lovely. Well, hey, you got milk after a long time, I, I, I guess. I wonder if it says anything about it. Hmm. I'll give a 10 choose personal locks. February 20. Oh, praise God almighty. I couldn't be happier. 
Dr. Gray took me to one side and told me that I was the only, one, only person who had the skill and ability to take control of the nursery. He promoted me on the spot and said that I was now personally responsible for the Queen. The royal jelly that she produces has proved to be incredibly useful. I discovered through my own analysis that not only is the jelly an essential nutrient for the insect population, but it has other amazing physical properties too. It accelerates molecular bonding in certain substances, acting as a thickener for many natural substances while also regenerating their natural properties. With some engineering, I imagine we could turn this into a true medical breakthrough. Medical breakthrough. I imagine doctors in hospital wards on Earth using our bonding agent to heal wounds instantly. Perhaps finally the Tenshu name will be revered in medical history instead of reviled. March 10. The queen is temperamental little thing. A fear later to be sure. Ah, but queenie, you forget I grew up in a family with more than one fire-breathing dragon. If I can handle my mother, I can certainly handle you. Ha. Huh. Although, when she is milk, she's rather docile. I dare say she's rather attached to me. I'm sure I hear her purring at me. That's the only way I can describe it. I'm aware that she's a buck and all, but it sounded rather like approval. My parents kept hives of bees, so I've never been squeamish over insects. And I can tell the difference between aggression and favor. I'm still the only person who can get close without being bitten. And her bite can leave one hell of a mark, let me tell you. Hodgson said he'll report his side effects upon his return from sick leave. In other news, Dr. Murek, one of Dr. Gray's subordinates, has requested samples of the jelly for experiments with his tree resin. He thinks it might have a use and an industrial adhesive. This is a little way from my original intention, but I do suppose it's a start. Hmm. August 12th. I try so hard to be positive when the things are starting to go bad. To be the person whose intuition never once flags nor fails, but when you start hearing rumors that appeal you to your very core, I tried to shrug it off, but recently it's become harder to deny it. I've been hearing sounds from the elevator shafts, the sound of a wailing infant crying out in pain before suddenly being silenced. That is no rumor. Sometimes I lay awake at night and I swear I can hear the crying of children. I can't be dreaming. I saw Encratia, Encratia to confess my fears. He gave me a prescription to help me sleep, but sometimes in his eyes said something in his eyes said that he knew I was hearing something real. And worse, it was something he was hearing too. More rumors. Dr. Malin is using children in his research. I have to ignore it. If it were true, Kane would remove him immediately. Surely. Even Dr. Gray appears to find it an un un uncomfortable subject for discussion. And this is a man who slept easily when Isaac got his left cheek torn off by the Queen. <sighs> September 22. Is Dr. Gray short of staff again? Once again, I'm being forced to manage multiple projects, only this time it's an examination of an act actually destructed new spore that seems to have infected a few of the pods. First observations. It's a parasitic fungus that grows faster than a common weed. And like a common weed, I feel it should be destroyed. But I know that Dr. Gray won't do it. He, like many of the other senior doctors, sees any new species as something to exploit it or weaponize. Something to exploit it or weaponize. October t 31. In the darkness, something stirs. I can't say what. I'm too afraid to find out what it is. When Ivan and Theo disappeared a month ago, we assumed they'd somehow deserted. That was the official stance taken by Dr. Malin and the board, anyway. Last night's events proved that there is something on board with us, though God knows where it's from. The Queen was more rampactious than I've seen her before, and milking her was certainly more challenging than I'm used to. 
Edmund was assisting. We've been short on staff and some of our volunteers are simply refusing to show for work. The queen's environment has been disturbed a great deal and so her violent tendencies are more pronounced. Edmund was uh, on highway out of hydroponics when it happened. A thing, some thing, pulled him into one of the air ducts. I didn't see much. I saw him walking towards the decommendation chamber and the next moment his legs were kicking the air as whatever it was dragged him up and into the ceiling while the while he screams like a pig. I'm resigning tomorrow. I did not sign up for mad science. I came to gain to serve humanity and clear my family's name, not watch my crewmates be slaughtered by species that Dr. Millen refuses to confirm or deny. Great. Great, great, lovely. December 3. If only I'd resigned when I said I would. Yeah, you should have. Certainly, you should have. Why wouldn't you? If only I'd resigned when I said I would, and if only they hadn't ignored my demands to have the infernal fungus destroyed. It's growing over me now, over my skin. It's burrowing into my flesh. Ah. Uh, yeah, like I was thinking that the fungus would do something along those lines. Over me now, over my skin, it's burrowing into my flesh. The insects attacked again today, and it seems to only worsen. Dr. Gray was destroyed by a swarm of them. What a surprise. And now he is only fertilizer for that ever revenous mold he was so curious about. The uninfected are making an attempt to escape. This doesn't include me. The emergency flares keep the box away. I told them to give me the flare to hold back the box so they could get away. I hope they escape soon. This fungus is making my head feel funny. I'm sure I can feel it growing through my ear canal. Lovely. That sounds so lovely. In December 3. Emails, inbox and outbox. About some foolish pranks. Azika, with the greatest respect, could you please stop the ridiculous pranks your group insists on carrying out in the fertilizing chambers? I will admit that they are hardly dangerous, but they are undignified. I certainly wouldn't like to be present when the... Again, Inspector stumbles upon young Theodore's raising in front of the Queen, hands above his head while shouting, I'm covered in bees! It's unprofessional. Please instruct them to cheese the foolishness at once, kind regards, Dr. Cray. And then a matter of spirit. Akisa, don't worry. I don't think that you're losing your mind. Ghosts are a possibility, but I suspect what you're hearing is perhaps the sounds of devices playing in other parts of the ship. I do believe at the moment that the corporeal world and spirit world are very much divided. So try to calm yourself. If you would like, I can talk to someone in cargo turrets about those sounds, but I wouldn't worry about it. This island is full of noises, but play them no mind. Pay. Not play. Pay them no mind. For once, I'm quoting Shakespeare and not the Bible. Get some sleep and maybe do fewer night sleeps. Lenore. Well, well. I'm not 100% sure how to proceed to. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. I don't either, I'm just wondering. Queen's milk was interesting substance, could do all sort of things. Hmm. It is all the time being fed into there. Which is quite interesting. I wonder if it is less hostile now when I have milked it but probably not something I should test quite yet let's just save again it here rather than all right and can I touch these this first one can I get to this one yes I could oxygen levels increasing I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, they would be increasing now. Hmm. 
Maybe. <laughs> no. But I guess it is. That is what I'm, so to speak, trying to achieve here. Apparently. But I would need to get rid of the insect swarm, which I'm not gonna be able to do just like that. Hmm. Um, I don't remember exactly what it said about this vaporizer. Shelly transformed into gas and so on and forth. Hmm. Vaporizer chamber compromised. Chamber is not airtight. Ooh. I know. You should be able to do something about it. It doesn't work like that. Huh, doesn't. Why not? Like, I was thinking that shouldn't this be able to fix things? Things don't go well together. Why not? I don't understand why not. Do. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. No. Fine no, then. No, that won't work. That's just a computer terminal. The locked door. Wonder if I'm missing something otherwise here somewhere. I work. I'll just try this out because why not? Hmm. Maybe. No. No, that won't Metal work. Lake. Huh. Not sure, not sure what is exactly going to be the answers here. I have a feeling that Heart and Amber should have something to do with something. No. But I'm not sure how. Uh, incredible tough compound. I could still go pet the queen, so to speak. Queen's milk. Hmm. I doubt I can just like give the milk to the insects in any way. These don't go well together. Yeah. No. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. I'm just uh not quite sure what would be the answer then right here and now. Huh. You are a really big insect, aren't you? I don't think this will fit. <laughs> what a surprise. Hmm. Probably not a good idea. Probably not. May always try though. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, I know, I know. I think that will just break it. That I don't exactly believe. So I'm not sure why, like, if this was supposed to be the sort of a combat that could maybe even at some point fix things in the sense like yeah, like, why couldn't it work then? Or do I need to put this into the vaporizer bad? That might be it. Okay, yeah. So we would want to be vaporizing it. This is an evolution platform for specimens and samples to be inserted into the class chambers. Vaporizer chamber compromised. Chamber is not airtight. Yeah, but how do I get it to be airtight then? I really have no idea about that. No, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I'm not certain about it because that was an idea that this should be able to do something about that, but if it cannot do that, then what am I supposed to exactly do? I do not know. Hmm. How to get it to be airtight? Here I really can't say that I have a very specifically any clue how to mm. proceed with I this think that will just break it. exact 
thing, to be honest, though. I really don't, like... Yeah, sure, I want to use the vaporizer, but how do I seal this when I... Uh, this isn't gonna work. I don't see anything that should be able to work with that other than possibly the milk, but that's not going to work either, because it's saying it's it doesn't work. It doesn't work, so... <sighs> I may be missing something. Very much indeed, obvious even. I guess I'll end here for the moment and see if I can either figure it out on my own or see if a little bit of a help hint from the in the webs because I have no idea. Just enough to get me into the right way possibly. So see you soon.